Good morning, everybody. How you doing? This is Mr. Ray, and you're watching the Mr. Ray Show. Hope you had a great day. Today, I have on the line for you independent wrestling superstar, and in my opinion, the best big man in the business. He's athletic, skillful, awesome, all-around tough dude, badass dude. Mr. Punisher Martinez. Good, good morning, everybody. How you doing? This is Mr. Ray, and you're watching the Mr. Ray Show. Today, I have someone on the line, someone very special that I've been looking forward to talk to talking to for for a long while. And in my opinion, he, he's the the best big man in the business. It's the Punishment Martinez. What's going on, man? How you doing? Doing good, man. Appreciate it. How's it going? It's going all right. Thank you for your time. My pleasure, man. What we got? Well, I just have a couple of questions for for you that I think think your fans may be interested in. Okay. Sure. Okay. But right. how long have you been in the wrestling business? I uh, started training at the Monster Factory in New Jersey in 2000. At the end of 2003, so I started wrestling in 2004. Uh-huh. Okay. And now, uh, a lot of wrestling fans, they may not have heard of you until now, including myself. I recently saw you on Ring of Honor maybe a year or so ago in the Top Prospect Tournament. Right. That, that was my first time he hearing of you and I was impressed to be honest I appreciate that I thought yeah, you were it awesome comes down to, it comes down to I was wrestling in, in the Northeast independently for all those years uh huh uh, but, basically, but basically staying local in the same companies and uh, not really branching out too much and then uh, a few years ago I decided that you know this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life so I had to really step up my game and take it seriously and dedicate myself 100% and that's what I did and that's how I started getting opportunities and you know did a tryout with Ring of Honor that led to you know a dark match then led to the top prospect and then led to me working full time for Ring of Honor okay that's wow that's great it's good just, yeah. just, just keep going keep going for for your dreams man yeah that's what it came down to just uh you know I always wanted to do this and this is what I always wanted to do but I never really dedicated myself 100% and uh, finally something just clicked and I said to myself well what am I doing I'm not wasting my time let's go for it right that's what I always try to tell people no matter how hard things get just keep keep working for it things will happen just keep working hard you yeah, know stay focused yeah. You know, and everything that you work for, well, it's going to show. And uh, nobody can want your dream for you. You have to, you know, put in the work and do it for yourself. Exactly. That's what I tell myself and tell everybody that I come in contact with. Good, good stuff. You know. Okay, so. What did you prefer to, prefer working as a face or a heel? Right. Special attraction. So, and um, it's easy. You know, I've been doing it for a long time, and I've done both for, for many years. And I'm very comfortable doing either one. So it just depends on like the scenario, what they have me do. Uh huh. I, I might ch I might choose to prefer one way or another, depending how I want to be portrayed. You know. Right. Cause I have to be honest. The first time I saw you, you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm gonna get, be completely honest. I was like. You know, wow, who is this huge guy just looking scary? And then you're, wow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it all depends on the 
can tell you I was supposed to be portrayed. That is what I was trying to portray. Right. And so I, so it was easier to be a heel doing that. Um, but then, you know, in the end, independently, I've teamed, I had a faction with QT Marshall and Matt Riddle, and we started off as heels, but everybody just seemed to like us because we were more of that easygoing, you know, guys that were just having fun. Mm-hmm. But they beat people up, so people liked us, and then so we turned face, and it was just easier to be fan favorites at that point. Right. So, like I said, it all depends on what we're trying to portray ourselves to be. And in Ring of Honor, I was portraying myself to be, you know, this killer. So it's just easier. Killers aren't usually good guys. <laughs> well, you've done it very well. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so have you had any major injuries that that derailed your career f- for temporary? Mm-hmm. You know, but nothing major where I've never had to sit out, you know, a year because of an injury, you know, so I've been blessed and lucky enough to not have that yet. But you know, everybody's time usually comes, you know what I mean? Right. Especially when you do this, if you do this long enough, you know, it's hard to go a full career without an injury. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. So, obviously, I've been lucky enough that I haven't had any major injuries. Well, that's great. Okay. Do you mind talking about about family, about your dad? Cause I seen something that really interested me. Yeah, no problem. Huh? No problem. Okay, I saw that your dad he he beat Chuck Norris in the uh, competition. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> like that's the first thing I read, and it I was like, wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay, so what does your family think about your pro wrestling career? Are they do they do they support you or or what was their yeah, reaction yeah. towards it? Yeah. Okay, so if you weren't a pro wrestler, what would what would you be doing? I don't know what decision or what choice I would have made 
knew what direction to go. Well, I think you would have been great at whatever you chose to do. Because you seem to, to have a good head on your shoulders. You seem positive about things. Just stick, you know, just keep with the positive the positiveness and just you know work hard but like, like, like I've seen you been doing you know so just just keep at it man okay my next question is is WWE an option for you who are some of your dream opponents in Ring of Honor that you haven't faced yet Okay, I have one final question for you. Yeah. Oh, well, not really a question, but do you have any advice for any young, super, young, aspiring wrestlers? Pretty great advice. Hopefully they take it. And some do, some don't. Yeah. want to thank you again for your time and just just thanks man I don't know no, what else to say just thank you I look for I look forward to speaking to you again soon stay safe on the road yeah.
All right, I look forward to it. Thanks again. All right, take care. Yep. All right, well, that was Punishment Martinez. Like I said, he's a great guy. And to all, like he said, to all you aspiring wrestlers, just take it serious, you know. If you're going to get into this business, take it serious. You know, because it's not easy, like he said. But it's worth it. Alright, y'all. Y'all take care. This is Ray, and you're watching the Mr. Ray Show. And please always remember to live, laugh, learn, stay positive. Y'all have a good day.